Wow. That's a read. Matter of fact, when I go on my walk today, I might play that old Cardi B album because, I mean, it don't look like we getting another. I'll never forget when that album first came out. I think that was 2018 or was it 2016? I know I was in Arizona and I was driving Uber and this uh girl, it was it was, it was was three ladies that got in my car. This was back when I had a Kia Forte. Uh, and the three ladies, the three ladies got in my car and then the one that got in the front, she said, put on that Cardi B. And then I put it on and then she just started twerking, just shaking ass all in the front seat, got out the seat belt, just shaking ass, shaking ass, shaking ass, twerking, twerking the booty cheeks, doing the isolation with the booty cheeks. So, you know, I don't know why Cardi B won't just get back to making that music. You make that ass shaking, ass clapping, booty popping, coochie popping, you know, um, I, I can swallow the D all the way to the bass and the balls kind of music. We never, you know, took your music seriously like that. We didn't never expect for you to, you know, make music that was groundbreaking or make music that actually made a difference in the world or to make music that actually, you know, inspired us to want to be better. We went to you and we listened to you for the, for the, for the dirty, for the, gr for the, for the grit, for the ratchet, for the gutter, for the, you know, the girls that literally got it out the mud for the girls that literally crawled out from up under the sewer and, up for, and from up under the house with the rats. We ain't never expected you to really give us nothing like that for real, for real. So get back in that booth and give us that gutter, utter ratchet like you is, because you still is that gutter ghetto ass bitch. You don't think, don't, don't, don't think for a minute that you didn't change like that. Yeah, you got that money and that head done been transplanted three, four times and that body done been transplanted three, four times, but you still, you still the same Cardi. So even if you need to go back home to the Bronx for a minute and, you know, you, you know, don't stop eating all that shit food. You're going to eat like a pregnant bitch in the Bronx and, you know, survive off of bacon, egg and cheese and some Takis and Mountain Dew and get back, get that grit back and get in some the closet and record something worth a fuck. Or just become a content creator and call it a day. Maybe it's a part of some kind of ritual where she can't make independent music no more. 